All right, welcome to our new coach getting started right call. I am so excited for you guys. For those of you that don't know me, I am Shalene McLeod. Um, my other half, Jer, is not here tonight. He's actually driving on the road back home. I am at our trailer um, and we are up here for the summer. So I am going to be kicking things off with you guys tonight. I'm really, really excited for you guys. You have no idea what is about to happen in your life right now. Um, you guys have all embarked on a new journey. Some of you, this might be your second or third month that you're joining us in this training. For others, this is the very first month that you are joining us in this training. And I am just so excited because I have literally watched my life transform right before my eyes for the past two years. I have been coaching for just over two years. It was two years in May. And everything changed for us when I decided to say yes, and I decided to go all in on my journey. Um, I honestly, I wish I could like bottle everything up that has happened in the past two years and tell you guys absolutely everything right away, but I can't. Um, but what we've done is we've pulled the best information and what we've learned along the way, alongside a lot of other leaders on this team. And we've kind of pulled together this training for you guys to help you get started off on the right foot with the information that you need to know right now in your business. The one thing that I will say is you are going to be bombarded with information and there are endless amounts of training that are out there for you. You can literally Google Beachbody coach training and there's like probably a year's worth of videos that you could be watching. Um, I encourage you to just stay in your lane and really get through the information that we've provided to you for now. And then you can slowly navigate into all the other training that you wanna dive into as you start to learn from different coaches and you start to get vibe from different coaches and you're like, oh, I really like her style, I like her style. That's totally cool. But in the meantime, really let's just stay focused and I'm the prize. Let's get through this training together. There's not a ton that we're asking from you each day. Um, I hope that you guys have all had a chance to get into the training course and you have signed up. If anyone has issues, just drop it in the chat. I can help you navigate that after this call. Um, but first and foremost, it's just, there's not a lot to have to learn. It really is about doing. And it really is about applying all of the things that you are learning as you learn them. And I don't know about you guys, but I know for myself, when I start doing, that's when I start learning more. And that's when I'm able to ask a lot of really great questions that help me get to the next level. Because without actually applying any of it, everything's hypothetical. And I just find I'm putting myself into these hypothetical situations going, well, what if this and what if that and what if that? And we could play the what if game all day long. Um, but for me, most of the time, that's my perfectionism speaking. And that's my perfectionism kind of diving in and trying to creep in and trying to just like control the entire situation to make sure that I'm 1000% ready to go before I actually do the thing. And I really want to encourage you guys to try and like diminish that voice just get it out of your head, do the assignments as they're asked of you in the training. We're going to fail in this process. You're going to fall flat on your face a thousand times over. And it's okay because we've all done it and we're going to be here to pick you right back up again and be able to move forward. This community and this team is the number one thing that has kept me going in the past two years on my journey. And I really encourage you guys to lean into this team and make some friends. Find your people on this team. There are people you're going to connect with. They might be local to you. I just asked everyone to drop in the chat, where are you from? If someone's local to you, find out where they're at. I mean, little meetups are so much fun in this business. It is mostly virtual, but when you can get do those little small get togethers, it really is impactful and empowering for you and your business. Uh, human connection is always great, even though we're six feet apart, it's still fine. Um, but that is the thing that I would say is really just make sure that you are connecting with people on this team as you go through. The really cool thing is that you guys are all connecting with each other right now because you're all at a level where we're starting together. And there are some leaders on this call, I see all their faces, um, and you probably see the coach that you signed up with on this call as well. And we can all say that when we first started, I know for me, it was really empowering just to have like a couple buddies who I knew were at the same level as me. 
because the last thing I want you guys to do is to compare your beginning to anyone else's middle. That is the number one thing that will deter you and will make you want to quit a thousand times over when you feel like you're not good enough because you're not where she is. But your story is different. Your journey is different. And you are exactly where you need to be at exactly the right time. The only thing we're going to do is identify, okay, where are you at? And how can we help you get to the next level based on your story? Nobody else's. So we can pull from a lot of the experience that we have on this team, which is pretty incredible, but make sure that you are just kind of staying in your lane and you understand this is a beginning and there is a lot to learn and that's okay. We're going to get through it all together. Um, I really want to encourage you guys to just make sure that you are following through the July chat. If you are not a part of the new coach chat, please make sure that you're a part of that chat. We are going to guide you for the next two weeks. And then after that, you're kind of on your own in a way. We're going to like set you free. We're going to let you fly. Um, you're always connected with the team. Don't get me wrong. And we have team calls that happen every single Wednesday night at 8 p.m. So set a reminder in your phone for those. But after the two weeks, it really is our responsibility as your new coaches to get you to be as independent as you possibly can as quick as you can. Because what happens is we understand that We've done our job in helping you to know the information that you need to know so that you can get to the next level and you can turn around and you can help somebody else do the exact same thing. It's all about building a team and building the community. And it's really on us to help you become that independent CEO. We're not your babysitters. We're not your boss. We are business partners and we're going to help each other. But ultimately at the end of the day, it's up to you whether or not you do the training. It's up to you whether or not you don't do the training. And nobody's going to come knocking on your door being like, you don't get a certificate if you don't complete your training today. Um, it, it really is up to you. And sometimes what I find happens in that sense is we give up a lot easier because it's really easy to give up on ourselves. And it's really easy to break promises to ourselves. And so I want you to make sure that you tell your coach and you, right after we're done this call, or even right now, you can drop it in the chat to let them know that you are all in. You are not breaking this promise to yourself to get this done. You are not breaking this promise to your family. This is a promise you are going to keep to yourself. And when you think of the times where you're like, oh, I really just wanna watch Netflix, I don't wanna do this training, or I'd rather go do this, I'd rather go do that. I want you to think of a bigger why. Think of something bigger than you. Because when I think of something bigger than me, it's so much easier to do the things that we don't want to do every single day than when it is when we're like faced with a decision on whether or not we should sit down and watch half an hour of training or we should go and have some drinks with some friends that just said, hey, we're outside, come, come have some drinks with us. So really just have that bigger why. Why are you here? Why did you decide to become a coach? Write it on a sticky note and put it up on your bathroom mirror put it up, put it on like your screensaver as your phone, on your computer, wherever it is that you're going to see this thing all the time, because that's what's going to keep you driving forward and keep you moving forward. Um, I, I'm going to open this up for some q and I want you guys to be able to ask some questions, but I think ultimately I want you to be all in, not only in this business, but with your own health and wellness journey. I want you to go all in on taking care of you. I literally have never been a part of any other business that is like, take care of you first and then worry about the rest of the world. Everything has always been, no, nope, it's on my time. This is my time. You're going to show up for me on my time because I pay you on my time. This, we're flipping it around and we're like, no, 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 no. You're going to take care of you and you're going to make sure that you are taking care of your best self because when you show up as your best self, you can start showing other people what it looks like to show up as their best self. And there's going to be a lot of growth that happens on this journey. It's a lot of personal development. And if you don't have your first personal development book, I really want to encourage you guys, one that I love, um, and that I always used to recommend, but I have a second now. The one that I always used to recommend was The Slight Edge. 
Um, that is a really, really great book for people who are just starting out. Um, but if you've not read Untamed, please go buy the book right now and read Untamed. <laughs> I am like blown away by this book. Um, it is so good. So those are like two of my top recommendations. You can speak to your coach though. We all have our own favorites and we all have recommendations based on kind of what you feel like your limitation might be in this business. So um, personal development, make sure you go all in on your journey, get your training done and really understand what your why is. What is your why in this business and what is the thing that is gonna drive you forward? Thank you so much for dropping all of that in the chat. You guys are life, I love you all. Um, okay, I'm gonna flip this over. If any of the leaders have anything that they kinda wanna touch on or something that I missed, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and just kinda speak to that. Or if you're a new coach and you have a question, you can drop it in the chat or you can unmute yourself as well and ask your question. Um, I was going to say something else, but I forget. Oh, there is a getting started right call that you can watch as well in the training. It's completely different than this one. So please make sure that you watch that. Okay. Anyone have anything? This is always I'll just jump in because I always talk too much and, uh, just wanted to say, I love seeing all of your beautiful faces on here. I feel like this is one of our biggest groups that we've had on one of these calls. So I wanted to welcome all of you guys. Um, you'll hear me a lot because I like to talk a lot. Um, but I just wanted to welcome you guys all and everything that Shaleen said about the community aspect of this is so true. So really dive in and know that that July chat is there for all of you guys to ask questions, to get uncomfortable, to share your experiences, to share, you know, if you invite somebody and they give you a response that you're not sure what to do with, pop it in the chat. We're all in there to help you guys through this because I can tell you we've all been there and we've all leaned on each other and we all still lean on each other. So the great part about it is that you guys are all starting together. So you guys are all going to be in the same boat together. And I'm sure if one of you is asking something, every single one of the other of you and probably me either has or is asking the same question. So don't be afraid to pop into that chat. There are no silly questions ever. So just ask away. Okay, Alex, you're up. She's like, wait, how do I hit mute? The little microphone button, tap that. My screen didn't show it at first. I'm so sorry. Um, hi, everybody. I'm Alex. I joined like a month ago. I feel like I should introduce myself so you know who I am. I am a dog mom and I'm not big on social media and looking at all your faces. I feel like maybe you guys are more tech savvy than me because everyone knew where the mute button was. Um, so I just started an Instagram for Beachbody because I only want a dog account and I'm really good at posting like treats and leashes and cute puppy faces but I don't know how to post about myself and I'm finding it difficult because I've worked out for like 10 years. So I know what to do in the gym. I know how to give advice. I know how to eat healthy. I know how to fuel my body. I love Shakeology. I'm obsessed with it. My friends are loving it. I'm loving my program. However, I have one post on my page because I don't know, like, should I be posting a selfie? Should I post a story? How do I make my pictures look good? What should my content be? And then I panic, maybe I'm overanalyzing, but I don't want to look like every other fitness person out there because there's so much already posted all over the world. And I'm not a selfie person. And then I think mostly every time I type something and pick a picture, I'm so scared of the judgment and the fear. So please advice, what do I post? How do I post it? And how do you get over the judgment? That was a long question. That's okay, that was like 12 questions in one and I love it. And that's like literally all of our training and we address so much of that. But here's what I'm gonna say. Exactly kind of what I said at the beginning where our brains automatically go into the mode of like, I have to have it all figured out before I can do any of it. And you almost become paralyzed in this like, I don't know what to do next, so I'm just not gonna do anything. But when you asked the question, you actually gave yourself about 12 different post ideas. And I'm just going to point them out to you because they were really great. You know how to work out. You know different moves. So show some workout moves. That's video is amazing. If you're comfortable recording yourself on video, record some workout moves and share those in your stories. You can even share them as a post. You can share it as an IGTV. 
You can put it up as a Facebook post, like repurpose that content all the time. So showing different workout moves, you know that. You know how to eat well. Most people don't. Use what you know. Just because it's not labeled Beachbody, that does not mean that you can't share it. If you know how to pull together a really cool recipe, share that. That stuff is like gold on Instagram. Gold. And that is also something that not a lot of people are actually comfortable with. So if you're really going to position yourself as like someone who, ha who is like so great with nutrition and that is like your jam and you just love creating, maybe it's like you've got like some really cool recipes, start positioning yourself like that on social. Um, you also talked about a lot about like, you know, you already knew how to do a lot of this stuff when it comes to like health and wellness outside of Beachbody. Just really remember that not a lot of people do. And you're looking for the people who don't know how to do those things. So you're becoming an educator now and you're helping them to understand a lot of that. Um, the other side of it is you can know how to do all of that, but you might not have had a community that's there to support you. And I speak a lot about community because that's what makes me different than a lot of other coaches or a lot of other fitness professionals. It's not just about another workout video. It's about the community that you get to go along with it and that you stop thinking about the scale and you start thinking about just feeling like your best self. And so I would just say like, even for you to just journal a bunch of things that kind of come to mind on how you want to show up on social media, who's the person that you want to help? Like who's, who's your ideal person that you would love to help? And what is she thinking about every single day? Those are the things that you're going to start to post about because then she's going to feel like you're in her head and she's going to be like, oh my gosh, how did you know that? Like, how did you know I was feeling that way? And we all kind of think that we're the only ones who think that, but we're not. Literally anything that you have thought or a problem that you have or that you have learned how to solve over the past five to 10 years, someone else is still waiting for that answer. So just share it. You have so like literally in everything you just said there, there was so much. Um, I feel like hey, I permission to add something, if I may. Yeah. For Alex, I just love the fact that you asked that question and you being, you being aware and asking that question means already, you're already winning. Um, one of the suggestions I can give you a few actually is number one, keep the tribe for Beachbody, like who you're watching in a very limited number. Don't watch all other coaches because that creates comparison and then comparison creates questioning yourself as to what you're going to post rather than posting what comes from within. So there is no right post or wrong post. It's just, if you're an advantage here because you're starting it from fresh and once you kind of realize, okay, I'm going to be authentically be, be me. Um, and I'm going to post whatever comes from within, not comparing yourself. Okay. Is the lighting right? You know, this coach posts like this. So I should do that too, because they have 25,000 followers. They don't have 25,000 followers because they took that picture. It's just because they're probably being themselves a hundred percent. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm very happy for you. The fact that you're starting fresh and, and, um, I, th I think you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna crush it. I'm I'm, I'm really happy you, you you joined the team. You you seem to know a lot. Um, the fact that you worked out, you're working out. You know how to do the moves. You know nutrition and stuff like that. Share those like snippets of of um, of what you know and don't compare. Um, another thing is opinions. That's gonna drag you down and 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 subconsciously you're gonna have those thoughts in you. What if I post this? Is it too crazy? What I do is if something crazy comes into my mind that I'm going to post and I ask myself, is this too crazy to post? Does it make sense? I post that exactly because it came to my mind, which means it's coming from me, which is authentically being me, right? You do the same. I'm like Tara uh, Sikara. I, I, I talk a lot. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to mute myself, but welcome to the team. It's lovely to have you. I can't wait to see you grow. Thanks. Thank you. Everybody's so nice. And I'm so grateful that I have help because I think I'm worried. A lot of my friends are in the fitness industry and they make their own plans and they have their own business. 
Um, and I'm worried that they're going to judge me or think like, who do I think I am? Because I, I've worked out for my job. I have to be fit for my job. So I had to learn how to gym and it was very rough at the start. Um, and I just did the yoga today for the first time in my life. I have the mobility of an 80 year old woman. So it's like, I'm learning too. And it's also difficult. And I think I'm just worried that I come from a culture that's so judgmental and I don't want people to be like rude and mean on social media because people can be so awful. I'm gonna take all your advice. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna post my quirks and roll with it and see how it goes. So thank you all for listening to me, Babel. Alex, Alex watch your stories. Yeah. I watched your stories today. They were amazing. Like honestly, you're doing a really, really great job at like kickstarting things. You're talking about more than just beach body. You're not becoming a beach body coach. You're showing up as you are. And so you're already doing those things. So we're going to help you to sprinkle in a little bit more so that people see you as an educator. Same with everyone on this call. We're going to sprinkle things in so that people see you as someone who can actually help them get to where they want to go on their health and wellness journey. Um, and you will totally get there. The other thing that I will say is after all this training, which Alex, I know you've been through some of it. I'll send you a call on um, that we actually had. It was a team call. And she talked a lot about how to take the right photos and the lighting and like branding and stuff. And I feel like that's kind of where you're at. So I'll, I'll send that call to you because I think that it'll be really good for you. So, and like, I feel like everyone probably had that same question. Yeah, I think Erin has a question too. Go ahead, Erin. Hi everyone. Um, so I had a question and it was with regards to Instagram. And I'm wondering if people are starting an Instagram account that is strictly for coaching or if they're feeding off the personal Instagram account that they already have where they already have their followers. Um, I find that a lot of people, like there's a lot of um, discomfort. Obviously there's a lot of shame involved in people's bodies, which is so sad. And like some people get really upset when they see a lot of workout photos and, you know, it's very hard for people. So I'm thinking that my entire family friend pool does not want to see me being fit and happy every day, which is weird, right? Like you would think that they would, but I think it makes people uncomfortable. So I'm wondering if you have started an Instagram just for that, or if you've piggybacked off the one that you already own, like your family one? Um, so I'll share from my experience. I think we've definitely seen both happen on this team where people have done both. Um, I always kind of came from the perspective of I'm never going to make everyone happy. And I'm probably always going to offend someone at some point in time, regardless of what I say. However, there are a lot of people out there that I know I can bring light to their day and I can bring joy to their day. And you sound like you have just really, really great intentions. And it's not coming from a place of, I want to shame you because you're overweight, or I want to shame you because you should fit into this box and look a certain way. Even just how you framed that question shows me that you are really going to be coming at this from a different perspective and not so much from like a weight loss perspective, but really from just like a self-love, let's live our best lives, let's be our healthy selves. And I think just that underlying message really isn't going to make people uncomfortable. I think I would be really shocked if you made a lot of people uncomfortable that were watching you, even just in listening to how you delivered that, honestly. Like I feel like um, maybe that's just a fear speaking and not so much something that would actually come to fruition. And I think we, we have this fear because we do see a lot of negativity happen on social media on all different accounts. But I, you'll, you'll be surprised at how many people just kind of rise with you as you start to spread that love and you spread that joy. Um, but to actually answer the question, I did not start a new account. I stayed with my own personal account um, and I actually helped my family and friends get healthy alongside with me. And I reached a lot of my, my business goals in helping my friends and family because starting from scratch, you are literally starting from the ground up to build trust with your audience. And that takes a really long time to build trust with an audience. You're looking at probably anywhere from like five to eight months, if I'm being realistic, with a brand new follower who has no idea who you are, it's going to take them a long time, one, to figure out what you're doing, two, to understand how it's gonna help them, and three, to actually get the nerve to say, yes, I'm ready, let's do this. So that process is just a bit longer of a process, 
Um, so I, I would just say like from my personal experience, my personal account, I've never really had anything negative come from it. Um, and I've just, I've helped a lot of my friends and family along the way and it, it actually felt really great to be able to help them do that. So I stuck with my personal account. I don't know if somebody else has a different experience if they want to share. Aaron, I'm going to pipe in there because yeah. I just became a coach in February and I had the same thought mm -hmm. and I actually said, I said, you know, I'm going to start a separate account because I don't want to bother people and I don't want them to get annoyed and blah, blah, blah. Now into it, I totally wish I hadn't because I almost want to delete that, my personal one, because I find I'm juggling between the two and then sometimes I'll post the same thing between the two. So that's almost more annoying for people because they're thinking, oh, I'm seeing the same post again. So yeah. if I had to do it again, I totally would not start a separate one. So my word of advice is just be you, be yourself. And like Tara mentioned in the chat, if they are getting annoyed, they could totally block you or delete it. And then it's almost doing you a favor because you don't have to worry about them being bothered by your posts. So word of advice, I would just totally stick to your own. Don't start a new one. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Erin, this is more, and I know you know this cause you've followed my journey, but it's more than just fitness, right? And yeah. your, your message is so special that you give to people like you in particular, um, because I, we go way back, but you have so much more to offer people. And I feel like if you just kind of create a separate account for that, um, so many people are going to miss out on you and who you are and the special person that you are. And so I think that you need to honor that and, and honor the message that you have because it is very genuine and it is coming from a very special place. So I think, you know, and people might not resonate with the fitness aspect of it. They might resonate with the fact that you have three dogs, two of whom are crazy. Um, <laughs> and they might resonate with the fact that you have a teenage daughter and a uh, soon to be teenage son. And they might resonate with all of those other aspects of your life um, and might trust that part of it. So yeah, I think that, I think that for you, for those few people that may judge you, mm -hmm. because I know you, I, yeah. I you know, um, it's not, yeah, I think that you just kind of put that to the side and say, that's okay. It doesn't bother me. I just, yeah. I have so much more to give to everybody else. So, so thank, um, so helpful. Thank you so much, everyone. That just completely made up my mind. Thank you. You're welcome. I love this. This is what it's here for. Anybody else have another question or you feel like maybe there's a fear that you're like, oh, you're really going to hold me back or I don't know how to move forward. Shailene, can I just add one thing? Please do. I think, I think that like when you sign up and you become a coach on your personal accounts, all of a sudden you think you need to like entertain people and like, what will I post today? And blah, blah, blah. Like it's okay to still share that funny meme and get people talking on your page. And it's still okay to just post whatever you normally would, you know, just make sure you're including your transformation along the way day by day as you see it just being true to your journey and just sharing that each day as it comes at you and making a note section of like different things you thought about as a great post and just storing that and going back to it later and putting a little more thought behind it and making it a post but otherwise like be you they're here to see you they're on your friends page because they're friends with you and now you are doing something great and yeah a lot of people are going to look and be like what is she doing i want to feel that good too so just be, don't feel like you need to entertain anybody. You're not here to entertain people. Be yourself. I love that. Aaron, Aaron to, your, to your comments, when, when anybody judges me, I say, I really appreciate you telling me that. It's like starting a new relationship and you're telling me who you are from the beginning so I know that I shouldn't be dating you. Like, you know what I mean? So I, so I appreciate you showing me who you are so you don't belong to my crowd, to my tribe. So good luck to you, you know, and then, and then kind of put your energy in that, in a positive to the negative, which will, which will help you go through it easier. Blessing release. Exactly. Thank you. Any other questions you guys? Go on once. Go on twice. Okay, you guys, we have the July chat. It is specifically for questions like this. 
please feel free to use that chat as a way if Alexandra has a chat uh, question it's a super quick one yes 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 go do you, know what, do you know what time MBF releases at? Because I want to sign up right away tomorrow. <laughs> is it midnight or is it like 7 a.m.? Do you know? <laughs> I've heard mixed reviews, so I don't know. But as soon as I know, I will tell you all. Okay. I'm really hoping it's like an early release tonight in like the next half an hour and it's going to be available. So they do that often. So I'm like, fingers crossed. That's what's happening. I legit am checking after this call. Um, 30 minutes, Shaleen? Pardon me? In 30 minutes? No, 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 no. I don't know what time, but I'm checking oh. after this call to see if it comes out early. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. If you guys have any other questions, please use the July chat so that you can ask everything in there. Don't feel like you are bothering any of us. It, we literally are in there all day long so that we can answer your questions. Um, I want you guys to feel like that is a safe space for you. Voice note it, text it, send a video. I don't care. Screenshot conversations you're having with people to be like, help, I have no idea what to say or how to help this person. It will happen and you are gonna freeze don't freeze, send it to us so we can help you navigate that. Um, at the end of the day, we're just so excited you guys are here with us. Thank you all so much for having enough courage to be able to believe in yourself, enough to say yes to this journey, and to be able to trust in us enough to be able to guide you along the way. So we're so pumped that you guys are here with us. I hope you have the most beautiful evening um, and go dive into that training and we will talk with you guys on Wednesday. So wait, before we go, we have two calls on Wednesday. We have a special call at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with an incredible life coach. Like legit, this is going to be gold. And then we have a second team call that is happening at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Kaylee sharing her story about being in the MBF test group alongside Megan. Um, so we're getting like the inside scoop and I'm gonna give out all the details about what's happening in terms of packages and how to get people started. Um, so make sure you guys don't miss those two calls. So we'll see you on those two calls. Bye guys. <laughs>